Hi everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. Today we're going to show you our Journeyman Easy Ends uh, end mill grinding system. We designed this to make the grinding of end mills, ends, center cutting as a particular, uh, easier. The original setup was a tapered cup wheel, usually in 11 v 9 it doesn't actually work that good with the height relationship on the spindle for all of the aspects of the end grind. It's set up so that when you come across the end with a 5 inch wheel you get a 7 degree primary and then if you lower the machine you'll get a 18 to 20 degree secondary coming across this way. Well this wears off the corner of the flaring cup wheel. It leaves a protrusion in the center of the tool when you come to the center because the the wheel develops a radius on the corner. So what we've done with this um, uh, this system, <clears throat> which is a byproduct of a few things, this indicator shelf which makes it easy to find center and keep track of it, we just made a spindle extension which is similar to the original Cutter Master extension, and then <clears throat> we developed these uh, super abrasive wheels, one CBN and one diamond, so that we could get the uh, gash characteristics we were looking for and also the best primary and secondary angle approach that we could get considering the size. We're, we've designed it so the motor is level uh, at zero and you come across into your primary. It'll give you about an eight degree primary which is a little steep but all things considered we think we think you'll like it. You can always flatten the primary out later main thing is you want to be able to get your primary, your secondary, and your gash, and you want to be able to do it in a cycle time that's similar to one of these time chuck setup, like in the offshore machines where you'll have a timing shelf on the machine and then you'll cycle through the three different shelf positions and that will give you the same geometry each time. The limitations of those machines are that usually you can't use sharpened very big tools, so this will work with up to a two inch end mill works very well on small end mills, two, three, and four flute. Today we have a four flute setup. Um, it's about a one inch tool. So <clears throat> what what we're doing here is we've got a, to find the center of the tool, we've made it very simple. If you put this magnetic shelf here, you put a dial indicator there, you just come over, figure out where your center is, set your indicator to zero, and now, every time you come back, just don't go past zero. Instead of trying to dial in the outside diameter, you know where center is. You can reset it when you set your air spindle from two degrees to straight. And uh, we think you'll like it. The cycle time on most tools with a perfect, perfect center cutting tool is, you know, a couple of minutes tops. So what we've done here, this is how you make your tool center cutting. You've found center. You come over, find center, back up about five thousandths because you want to leave a little bit of web in the center. Then you get your travel set up using your front wing set so you can have some travel. You just plunge in, cut one side, flip it over, plunge in and cut the other side. Now you've got a center cutting tool. So basically you just grind all four of your flutes to center and then go around it taking out one flute on either side of the web you've chosen to keep.